afternoon, everyone. My name is Kate. Today, I'm going to present to you animal cell culture technology. So, what is animal cell culture? So, basically, cell culture can be defined as the process of cultivating cells and tissue outside the body of an organism. So, in scientifically term, we know it as in vitro in an artificial environment, which simulate the in vivo conditions such as temperature, nutrition, and protection from microorganisms. So, basically, this is a conceptual diagram for various types of cell tissue culture. So. The animal cell culture refers to the first diagram, so which is we uh, extract the cell tissue or tissue from an adult uh, rat, and then we synthesize it and further digest it, and we culture it in the medium. So, so that's that's basically the cell culture technology. So next, the advantages of cell tissue culture are uh, control of can be act as control of the environment, characterization and homogeneity of the sample, economy, scale, and also the mechanization. And lastly, the in vitro modeling of in vivo conditions. And for the application of cell culture, uh, it can be act as an excellent model system for studying and also it can be used for the gene transfer studies. Right, so now I'll also in micropropagation. Micropropagation is really a very big corner in vitro propagation of plant cells from cells tissue or organs culture aesthetically on different media contained in the culture vessels, maintain under control condition of light and room temperature. So what is an X-plant? X-plant can be shoot by the stem, tip part, leaf or stem, root, cell, or root, or embryo, or other seed part. So these are the steps for the micropropagation. Selection and preparation of the mother plant, then next, initiation of culture, followed by multiplication, rooting, and finally transfer to soil. So the next two on our list is in vitro fertilization, or IVF in short. It means the process by which an egg is fertilized with a sperm outside the body, inside petri dishes, also known as in vitro. It is useful for couples which have blocked uh, reproductive tracts. So these are the major steps in IVF. The first being ovarian stimulation therapy. Second, oocyte or egg collection. Third, sperm preparation. Fourth, egg fertilization. Fifth, embryo development inside petri dishes. And lastly, embryo transfer into the uterus. I don't want to increase. I want to talk about cloning. So what is cloning? Cloning is basically to produce Genetically identical copies of biological entity. Uh, clones are basically an organism that have exact genetic copies, which means that every single bit of their DNA is identical. Uh, I'm sure you have seen, uh, you know, around you is some uh, close identical humans, which is known as twins. Yeah, that's one of the basically a clone. And then um, I'm sure that uh, you all have heard of uh, the 1996 uh, Brutus uh, invention, which is the first animal, uh, a mammal being cloned, which is named as Dolly. Alright, so for the advantages of cloning, you can see that it's a solution to infertile, it can uh, improve uh, lives, and it also protects endangered species. So, uh, this advantage is, uh, of cloning is basically is, uh, in unethical, unethical uh, inhumane, which can be reduced in the wrong manner. With that, I conclude my speech. Thank you.